MTV's Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020 is proudly brought to you by Colgate, WR Carpenters, PNG Air, Goodman Fulda International, Telecom PNG, Keynote, and Jacks of PNG. It was business as usual for the Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020 team. Always looking forward to showcasing the virtual talents that have secured a place in one of the hits. Last week's hit number three, virtual contestants kind of slowed the pace down quite a bit. With one bringing Christmas a whole lot closer. And then there were those that turned heads. But piece by piece, she collected me. But all in all, it seemed the girls have proven stronger, with two of the ladies in Hit 3 winning the judges over, with their performance and securing themselves a place in the top 8. Congratulations once again to Betsy and Kwame up in Tabubil. I travel 1500 miles to see you. Hi, Papua New Guinea! This is your girl, Betsy, and right here, all the way from the Star Mountains of Tabubil, located in the western province of Papua New Guinea. I would like to take this time and opportunity to thank MTV Local Fusion Virtual 2020 and especially the judges for giving me this great opportunity into making it through to the top eight. Papua New Guinea, if you would like to see more of your girl, vote for me! And Desiree Ura residing in the nation's capital. Thank you MTV Vocal Fusion 2020 and thank you judges for this opportunity to make it to the top 8. PNG, please vote for me. All the best to you. Welcome to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020, coming to you from the comforts of the keynote showroom located right here in the heart of the capital city, Port Moresby. Tonight is the heat number four. This is the final heat, the last two places available in the top eight. If you joined us last week, you would have seen that Berth Xi'an and Desiree grabbed themselves a place in the top eight. Tonight, we will see who will be joining them. We had nine contestants lined up but one of them unfortunately was out of the country, so we've only got eight contestants for you tonight. Now the people making those decisions are of course a wonderful panel of judges. Let's say hello to them. We have Barata 04. Cheers bro. How are you my brother? Good thanks, good thanks. Looking Had a forward. good week? Yeah, not too bad, decent. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Can I, I'm looking forward to tonight's show. Yes, yes I am. Yes, all right. And of course, Mr. Graham Osborne, as always, always good. looking good. Always good your... to see you too. <laughs> Before we get down to business, ladies and gentlemen, joining us all the way from New Zealand, we have a live special guest, 
our vocal coach and mentor for this season. Please make welcome Lavina Williams. Lavina, can you hear us? Yeah. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> It's great to have you with us. I know you can't be here physically, but are you excited about being part of the show? Oh, you don't even understand. I wish I was there, but my spirit is like, I'm vibing with this, this Zoom situation, and I'm all ready and prepped and geared up for this 2020 show. What do you think is going to be your biggest challenge this year in doing the whole coaching virtually? Well, my biggest challenge this year will be not... Um, being there physically with the contestants. Usually when I'm there on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I can usually um, get up in their face. When it's boot camp, <laughs> vocal boot camp, it's always about that interaction with the crowd and with the audience. And that's what I really want to instill in all the, um, all the contestants is it's not about you. It's not only about you when you perform. It's always making sure that you share it with the audience and I won't be able to do that. So that will be the challenge for me this year. But that's not going to stop me, though. It's not going to stop me from getting in their faces because... Hello? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Judges, do you want to say any words to Lavina while we have her online? No, it's just good to, you know, good to finally hear and um, talk to you again and see you. And see yeah, you. brother. Oh, good brother. Good brother. Oh. Definitely, I'm glad to, you know, have you back on board again, sister. Oh, yeah, I miss you guys. I miss being there on the panel and out, having, having our little jokes on the side and stuff. But, um, yeah. and that banter, between, yeah, that banter <laughs> between all of us and the energy that we all have to, you know, um, to really boost the show, you know. And it's yeah, not yeah, the same, definitely. but still, these challenges are what we, are, are what we, yeah. sort of love. we love this. That's what artists are. That's, what, um, that's why we're so resilient, you know, just to, be out there for new challenges, and this is one of them. So bring it on. I'm, I can't wait. Yeah, definitely. My biggest problem is I've had to drink your whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now yeah, I've already got my cup waiting over here just to cheers you, Papa Bear. <laughs> oh, yeah. It runneth over. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Could I have any words? Oh, it's new territory. It's, um, it's exciting to be a part of the team as one of the new members of the judging panel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy that we've got another strong woman on the panel. Um, oh, yeah. It's always good to have that balance. So bring it on, girlfriend, and show those boys what, what we're made of. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Lavinia. We look forward to having you on the rest of the show moving forward and having your expertise. And I'm sure the contestants as well are excited to have you back again as their mentor and as their coach. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Get ready, guys. It's right. going to be a good one. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, I just want to make a huge shout out and big love to all you PNG viewers. Make sure you tune in to Vocal Fusion 2020 virtual show it is going to be on fire and i just want to make a huge shout out and a big thank you to all the sponsors of this year's show um we couldn't have done it without you big love guys thank you so much before we continue with the show an acknowledgement to our sponsors we have colgate wr carpenters telecom and goodman fielders international and of course, our powerful production partners, PNG Air, our official airline carrier, and of course, Keynote, our official venue host partner. Right, let's get the show started. The first virtual contestant singing tonight is performing a power ballad, a song that incorporates both pop and soul influences, originally sung by actress, singer-songwriter Demi Lovato, released in 2016. This is Tao Rawali singing Stone Cold, by Demi Lovato. Baby, 
God knows I try to feel happy for you. Know that I am, even if I can't understand. I'll take the pain, give me the truth. Me and my heart will make it through. Dancing with her while I'm staring at my phone Stone cold, stone cold I was your ember but now she's your shade of gold Stone cold, baby God knows I try to feel happy for you Know that I am Can't understand. I'll take the pain. Give me the truth. Me and my heart will make it through. If happy, sir, I'm happy for you. No wanna be stone. I wish I could mean this, but here's my goodbye. Oh, I'm happy for you. Know that I am, even if I can't understand. Happy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Tao Rawali singing Stone Cold. Let's go over to the judges and hear what they have to say. We'll start with Konea. Tao Rawali, so you've done a really good performance the last time, so you got chosen to this hit. However, I'm kind of disappointed. I expected more. Vocally, you have it. Your riffs clarity and stuff like that but with timing and pitch that's the concern here but the effort was appreciated yes I just feel you could have chosen another song because with Stone Cold the octaves that she uses so she uses one but then she jumps from low to the high and I was waiting for that I was waiting for that um, What's a good term? I don't know. Um, but that, that yeah. Did. The climax of the song. Yeah, the climax. Huh? Mm. But it, I, I wasn't feeling it. But it's, a, it's a really nice song. So, like, from it's a ballad and then mixed with some soul. And yeah, I could have chosen another song, but I'll, I'll wish you the best, like I like to say. <laughs> and if you do get through, please bring it better. Thank you very much, Kanair. Graham, you want to continue on with that? <clears throat> well, I'm a little bit stone cold after that, or that really. Um, look, what she says is, is absolutely correct. He's actually a better singer than that, and uh, and we, we know that. And uh, he, uh, it was a ballad that really didn't suit him. He started to sort of shout when he got to the top end of the roster, and I, I uh, he could have done a lot better. You know, he, he's not a bad little singer. Uh, he just chose, for me, he chose the wrong song. That's all. 04, wrap it up. Yeah, I think um, Graham and Kunia's comments pretty much sum it up how we're all feeling. He's really talented. I mean, it's certain parts in that performance where you can just like, wow, like he has a lot of talent. Those, some of the runs and riffs he was doing was amazing. But I guess certain areas where it just let him down. I think definitely song choice was one of them. I've actually never heard of that. I mean, I've heard of that song, but I've never actually listened to it before. Right, so right, right, right. I'm just judging you based on what I just heard. So. Yeah. But um, yeah, I would have loved, you know, loved 
to see you perform to a different song. But in saying that, you know, hope if you do get into the top eight, then you know, just bring it because uh, definitely uh, your first the first performance you did a couple of weeks back was that was on point, man. That was really impressive. So if you can, you know, bring that same amount of energy as you did the previous week, that'd be awesome. But all the best, Ron. I tell. Thank you, judges. Thank you for your constructive feedback. We're gonna take a quick break. Coming right up after this, we have more contestants from heat number four. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020, brought to you in partnership with PNG Air, our official airline carrier. Now, for the lucky contestants that make it through to the top eight, each and every one of them will receive two return tickets to any PNG Air destination within PNG. So you could be spending your Christmas somewhere nice and sunny on the beach, maybe in Kokopo with Graham. <laughs> Who knows? So moving on to our next contestant, we have Jane Wilson, <laughs> and she'll be singing a Christian song sung by Michael W. Smith, Heart of Worship. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply come longing just to bring something that's so worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself is not what you have required. Your sets not deeper within through the wastings of pain. You look into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I made in. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. King of Ellis world, no one could express how much you desire. Chum we can pour all I have is yours every single breath I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself it's not what you have required you set much deeper within to the waste in so pain you look into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus Thank you very much, Jane Wilson. Let's see what the judges have to say. We'll start with 04. What Jeez, do you think bro. of that one? Um, it was all right for me. Um, to be honest, Jane, it was pretty straightforward all the way. There was nothing really impressive about that, your performance. I would have loved to see you do a bit more with your voice. You know, it is a song of worship, so, and it's one that a lot of people like and enjoy. Maybe try to sing it a bit differently to what we're used to hearing. But yeah, I, just, I, I feel that you could have done a bit more with your voice. Just change it up, just switch it up a bit, you know, make it something interesting, because it was just very, Pretty much, it was a worship song. It was dead from start to finish. So, you know, it's pretty much what I feel from after watching it. Thank you very much, Ofo. Kone? First of all, nothing beats gospel music. That I must say. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heart of worship. Whether it's a cappella, whether it's with like instruments singing, at least have more energy put dynamics like that's what i want to hear we want to hear dynamics we want to hear vocally what you can offer this again is a competition 
Thirty kina, uh, not thirty kina. Sorry, <laughs> thirty thousand kina up for grabs. <laughs> so when you know that you're into the next hit, again, I'm going to emphasize, emphasize on this. I don't know what what you were. Maybe you were underneath the table or something, um, and I guess you were looking to the lyrics, lyrics and yeah. singing. That was really obvious. It's a worship song. Feel the song. Again, find your range, know your range, and then sing at a right note. So you can feel the song, and everyone that's listening to it, whether they sing you or just hearing you, they'll appreciate what you can offer vocally. But you can do better than that. Yeah. Thank you, Kanaya. Graham, to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm not quite sure she can do better than that, but the thing is that uh, she's obviously a very, very good church singer. She's obviously part of a choir other bits and pieces, and with a whole lot of people around her, she probably sounds very good and part of that choir. That's the only, that's the only way I could, uh, could see it. On her own, she was just lost along the way. And she was, you know, she's singing a song, she's a, it's a religious song, she's singing it to her friend Jesus, and that's just it. But she's part of a choir. That's how I see it. Anyway, good luck to her because she looked good and hope she goes on. Thank you very much, judges. Moving on, our next virtual contestant, staying with the gospel theme. This is Bonstein Igime, and he will be singing Sweet Jesus, originally performed by Cyril McClellan. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Bonstein Igime. Uh, I'm currently residing in Port Moresby NCD, but I'm originally from Simbu and Western Islands Province. Uh, the song I'll be singing for you guys today is titled Sweet Jesus and uh, it's written by Cyril McLilland. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what the wonder you are, you are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer. Then the lilies that grows by the wayside, precious, more precious than gold. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus. They come what may. The Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus every day. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Bonstein Igime with Sweet Jesus. We'll cut over to the judges. Graham, you want to start? It was a very average performance from a person who really, if he concentrated, would have a very nice voice. Um, if he concentrated, he'd have a nice voice. But he was virtually just on there to show everybody he was on TV. That's how I saw it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Graham. Yeah. Move on, Kanea, you want to continue Sweet on Jesus, there? that's a song that my father loves. But um, definitely a song that... Bonstein, is Bonstein yeah, yeah. should not have sung. It's not good. It doesn't really bring out the vocals that you have. And you do have the vocals, but you chose the wrong song. Yeah. So it was not really, um, yeah, not really impressed, but good try. Thank you very much. Oh, four? Yeah, it was a good, it was a good try. Um, you have a good voice. Um, certain parts of the song, you know, showed that you, you know if you did put some work in and maybe if you chose a better song that could actually display your um, your range and or, you know all this other stuff that comes with it like it's there um, i give you props for your expression and you know there's a certain standard like we're holding every contestant to like you know because we've had some massive vocalists on the show for these past seasons uh, so we're basically judging you know you on what we've already seen in the past so you know if, if we're not wowed or if we're not impressed then you know i'm sorry but it was a good effort so you know well done well done for that thank you very much judges we're going to take a quick break more contestants from heat number four coming up straight after this see you soon
Hello and welcome back to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020. You are watching heat number four. This is the final heat. Now, before we continue, let us first acknowledge our sponsor, Colgate, for providing prize money for the final four contestants. So for the lucky ones that get through to the last four, this is what will be up for grabs. Third place runner up, you get to win 5,000 kina. So imagine that as well as your PNG air tickets, 5,000 kina anywhere you want in PNG, go and spend that. Second runner up, you get 10,000 kina. And the first runner up walks away with a pocket full of cash, 15,000 kina. Now, for the grand final winner of Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020, it's a huge amount, thanks to Colgate, 30,000 kina. So without saying any more, let's continue with our show. We're at the halfway mark. We've got five more virtual contestants. Coming up next, sung by American country pop singer Brett Young. This is Angela Law with In Case You Don't Know. Hello, my name is Angela Law. I'm 20 years old. I'm Papua New Guinean mixed Malaysian Chinese. And I'll be singing the song entitled In Case You Didn't Know. Can't count the times Almost said what's on my mind But I didn't Just the other day I wrote down all the things I'd say But I couldn't I just couldn't Baby, I know that you've been wondering Mmm, so here goes nothing In case you didn't know Baby, I'm crazy about you And I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you Even though I don't tell you all the time That you had my heart a long, long time ago in case you didn't know The way you look tonight That second glass of wine That did it mm. There was something about that kiss Girl, it did me in Got me thinking I'm thinking All of the things that I've been feeling Mmm, it's time you hear it In case you didn't know Baby, I'm crazy about you and I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you Even though I don't tell you all the time that you had my heart a long, long time ago In case you didn't know you got all of me And I belong to you yeah, you're my everything In case you didn't know I'm crazy about you I would be lying if I said That I could live this life without you Even though I don't tell you all the time you hear my heart a long, long time ago Yeah, you hear my heart a long, long time ago mm -hmm. In case you didn't know oh, oh, oh. In case you didn't know That was Angela Law, ladies and gentlemen, with In Case You Don't Know. O4, do you want to start off? Yeah, sure, bro. Um, well done, Angela. It was, it was a good performance. I enjoyed it. Um, your, there was good clarity in your voice. 
Um, diction was great also. I could hear you know, all your words and lyrics clearly and they were pronounced correctly as well. Um, I just feel that you could have done a bit more. You've got a really nice voice, I have to, I, you know, I'll tell you that. But, um, you know, because that is a well-covered song to, you know, a lot of people who do these sort of talent shows, they cover that song. And also, if you go on YouTube, I'm sure if you search for that song title by Brett Young, there's a lot of covers done by that by other artists as well. So, um, I would have loved to hear something a bit different, especially towards the end, you know, just to maybe add your own twist or your own flavor to it. But all in all, it was a good performance. Well done. Thank you. Kuna? This genre, definitely not for you. You have a beautiful voice. I'd agree with all four. Diction, pronunciation. We could hear that. Just, um, I didn't feel the song when you sang it. So, yeah, if you do get through to the next hit, choose, choose a better song. Uh, no, sorry, correction. Choose another song that suits your voice. Get everyone to, get your family and friends to um, critique. Your um, presentation was good because we could hear what yeah. you were doing. Just maybe change where you choose to shoot the video. But other than that, thank you for that performance. <laughs> thank you very much, Kane. Graham, to wrap it up. Well. Let me just tell you that uh, I th think these guys are being a little bit harsh on her. She's a very young girl, right. obviously. Right. Um, I think that she did a very good... She, she actually put some uh, stuff into it. Uh, she, she showed some uh, visual bits and pieces when she was singing. And I think that she's... Ex I agree that she could probably improve a lot right. by a different song. Right. But at least she showed us something we were able to be uh, absolutely uh, positive about things today in that, in that, in that, in that performance. You know, I liked it and uh, I wish her all the best and I hope she gets through. Thank you very much, Graham. Thank you very much, judges. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be back with more contestants straight after these messages. See you soon. Hello and welcome back to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020, brought to you in partnership with PNG Air, our official airline carrier. This is heat number four, our final heat, and let's get straight into our next contestant. Singing a song by Joe Jonas from the movie Camp Rock. This is Gotta Find You, sung by the man with a very unique name, Hilversum Mambagu. All the best, Hilversum, take it away. There are times that think I'm close to the heart. What it means to know just who I am I think I'll finally found a better place to start it No one ever seems to understand I need to try to get to where you are But could it be that not that far You're the voice you hear inside the reason that I'm saying I need to find you I gotta find you, yeah You're the reason peace and need a song inside of me I need to find you I gotta find you Been feeling lost, can't find the words to say Spending all my time stuck in just a Inside of me, I need to 
Star file. Thank you very much. That was Hilverson Manabagu. Apologies for the mispronunciation the first time round. Let's get started with the judges. Graham, you want to get into Hilverson? Well, he's wearing a nice shirt. <laughs> I, pretty good. Um, yeah, I actually quite liked it. He, uh, he's got his own style uh, and he thinks uh, the guitar actually led him. Uh, if you listen to the song very much, uh, I think the instrument is a big part of his singing uh, situation. So, but it was okay. I, I liked it. Thank you very much. Conair, Hilverson, what did you think? Hilverson, I liked your energy. Like you picked up and from the start, the guitar and everything. Um, I'd like to hear more vocals. Like this is vocal fusion, so we, I would like to see what you can offer vocally. So that's the song choice. Um, your riffs, the runs, dynamics, everything that comes with painting that art. Music is an art, so show us what you got. Thank you, Kunal. Oh, four to wrap it up. Yeah, it was it was good for me. I mean, it was it wasn't you know I wasn't wild or anything, but it was good. It was a good effort. Um, I reckon maybe it would be it would have been better if you probably would record it indoors. You know, it was just a bit distracting with all the leaves and stuff blowing in the background. Um, but like, beside the point, you you have a, you have a really good voice. Um, you know, it's not it's not easy trying to play an instrument and sing and for like focus on singing at the same time same time. So you know, I give you props for that. Well done to you know take on. To have that courage to actually try that, so well done. Let's hope that gets you through to the top eight. Right, thank you very much, judges. Thank you very much, Hilversum. Coming up next, we have Lucy Killer, and she'll be singing Codeline's All I Want. All the best, Lucy. Take it away. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Lucy Killer. Let's go to the judges. Uh, Konea, you want to start? Yeah, Lucy, Lucy, you um, enjoyed the performance. I definitely enjoyed the performance. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it as that. Okay, <laughs> good, you enjoyed it. Okay, enough said. 04? It was, yeah, it was a decent performance. Um, I reckon your previous performance was better, though. Um, but you know, big props to you for dressing the part. You know, you took pride in your appearance. You're taking it seriously as well, because obviously that's what we mark you for as well, um, which goes along for stage presence as well. You interacted well with the camera, which is us here in the studio. So yeah, it was a good performance. Well done. I enjoyed it as well. Thank you, for Graham. It just reminded me of uh, sitting around in a living room and uh, the whole family yeah, singing. Yeah, letting yeah. someone. Exactly how, how how it was to me, yeah, and right. uh, and I, I I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, there wasn't a lot of big effort in to say, look, I'm here to, to be a great singer or whatever the case may be. It was really a good, homely performance. And uh, that alone, I really enjoyed it. 
Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much, judges. Thank you for the constructive feedback. We're going to take a quick break. After when we come back, we have our final two contestants from heat number four. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Hello and welcome back to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020, coming to you from Keynote, the wonderful showrooms that we film at every week, our venue host partner. Now we're down to our final two contestants for heat number four. And first up, coming all the way from Mount Hagen, taking on a Chris Brown number. This is Aiden Pora singing Chris Brown's Even. All the best, Aiden. It's funny how everything seems to even now. Even now I wish you could put it behind you Wish you would put up your blinders Wish you would stop listening to your friends And come so and no one will find us Wish you would just keep your focus on me So I can give you what I'm minded Yeah, I can be who I'm supposed to I can do better, I know you remember Every single night we would live our life in love Every single time I was doing right enough To keep you around now look at where I end up Look where I end up Remember the time when we fell in love Cause I remember the night When you had enough of my creeping Baby it was only for the season, baby. And it ain't even really had nothing to do with you. Oh, it was all really me. Cause I was trying to see the world like a dog on a leash. And you was trying to hold me back. I ain't wanna let you go, I had all that. I let you go and I knew I should've never let you go. I had all that, you remember. Every single night we would live our life in love Every single time I was doing right enough To keep you around Now look at where I end up Look where I end up Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. That was Aiden Porra. Let's go to the judges. We'll start off with Graham. What did you think of... Um... Well, direct from the bush, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it was. There right, were leaves right. going here. There were single things going around it. I think he's a little bit of a trickster myself. Uh, <laughs> he's not very much good of a, as a singer, but I think he's a little trickster. Oh, but good luck to you. Uh, at least you got up there and gave it a go because there aren't a lot of people who would do that. So good luck to you, son. Fair enough. Thank you. Kunea, what did you think of that performance? Loved the entertainment. Yes. <laughs> Creativity, singing, you know. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. Get off your skin, though. I'm almost slow, at least watching <laughs> video blim. Um, vocally, yeah, he's, he, he just needs more coaching help. Had some little nice runs there. Okay. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Oh, 04, what did you think? Yeah, I actually enjoyed that um, performance. I, I reckon he's got a really nice tone. Mm. Uh, and I really, I reckon his voice really suits R&B songs. So I reckon you know, it was a good song choice. I just, I probably would have preferred if you recorded indoors. Because, you know, you can sit down and watch out, can't get a twig, no leaf, or fly the front. But maybe he was rushing to go somewhere, I don't know, maybe there was a reason for him recording outside, I don't know. But, you know, bro, if you do, you know, you do, hopefully if you don't make it through to the top eight, then just take your, you know, your appearance and your, you know, the way you record it and the manner in which you do, take it a bit more seriously, you know. So hopefully that'll, you know, it might attract a bit more marks from us. So. But it was a good performance, very entertaining as well, as Kanye said. Thank you very much, judges. Moving right on to our final virtual performer. She takes on a huge Christian radio song by American contemporary Christian music singer-songwriter Lauren Daigle. This is Deborah Telek singing You Say. All the best, Deborah. Take it away. Hi, I'm Deborah Telek, and I'm singing You Say by Lauren Daigle. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough mm -hmm. 
Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Mm. Am I more than just the sum of every single high and low? Oh. Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Ooh, oh, you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. And you say I am held when I am falling short. And when I don't belong, you say I am yours. And I believe, oh, I believe what you say of me. I believe you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. And you say I am strong when I think I am weak. And you say I am held when I am falling short. And when I don't belong, you say I am yours. And I believe, yes, I believe what you say of me. I believe, oh, I believe, yes, I believe what you say. Thank you very much, Deborah Tulloch, ladies and gentlemen. Our final virtual performer for heat number four. Let's go to the judges and hear what they have to say. O4, what do you reckon? It was a good, really good way to end the show off. Um, it was a great effort. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that performance. Um, uh, great tone, um, really good clarity in her voice, diction and pronunciation on point. Um, her stage presence as well, you know, it's really good that she, like, you can tell it, she actually took the time and effort to set up properly her stance, appearance, you know, wise, everything. Great expression, great interaction with the camera. And yeah, it was an enjoyable performance. Well done, Deborah. I Thank enjoyed you. it. Well done. Conair? Out of all of the contestants, um, her stage presence was good. Mm. The effort okay. put into what she done and her dressing and I enjoyed the vocals. I think this hit is for <laughs> most of the gospel songs right, right, right. out of them. This one was nice. Yes. She done it without instruments and yeah, it was, it was enjoyable. Appreciated that. Thank you very much, Kanea. Mr. Osborne. Well, she's my one, number one <laughs> key player of the week there you go. Uh, <laughs> at the moment anyway, because uh, I think she put a lot of effort into it. Yep. Uh, she prepared for it. Right. Um, had there been some music there, it would have been a really, really great performance mm -hmm. for myself, but at least we heard her voice on its own. So that was all right. But I liked the way that she presented herself and right, did the whole thing. No, very good. Loved it. Thank you very much. There you go, Deborah Tellick, earning the number one certification from Mr. Graham Osborne himself. Right, that was our final contestants. We're gonna take a quick break. The judge is gonna deliberate and decide which two contestants you've seen tonight will qualify for the next round, the top eight. We will see you after the break. See you soon. Welcome back to Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020. This is the final heat, and we're about to announce which of the two contestants are making it through to the top eight. But before we find that out, let's just have a quick recap on all the contestants we had tonight. So first up, we had Tao Rawali. From Karama, we had Jane Wilson. Teens are made in when it's all about you. Bonstein Igime. For Jesus, a come one may. 
Angela Law. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. Hilversum Manabagu. Lucy Killer. From Mount Hagen, Aiden Potter. I wanna let you go, I handle that. I let you go, and I knew I should have never let you go, I handle that. And last, Deborah Selleck. When I can't feel a thing, and you say I am strong. We're wishing you all the best, and remember, only two can qualify for the next round, the top eight. Right, before we announce that, we're just going to give the judges a chance to have a last few words and talk about the heat they saw tonight. Judges, over to you. Congratulations, everyone, on the on this hit um, competition, vocal fusion, virtual 2020. Again, you have the advantage to do your best and send it in. You've made it to the next hit. So to the two that's going moving on, the challenge is on you. Do better with the choices, with the choices of song, um, your presentation and all of that. Bear in mind, there's a lot of genres in music, so choose the right one, give it your best shot again, you know, believe in yourself. You know you can sing, show us what you got. So yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say. The challenge is on you, aim for the 30 grand. Everyone needs that 30 grand, so you that's know. Right. <laughs> Tell yourself, I'm going to get that 30 G. That's mean business. And sing it like you mean it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you judges. I'm sure it was a very tough decision as it is every week, but they have made one, the results are in, and the moment we've all been waiting for, contestant number one from the final heat going through to the next stage is Tao Rawali. Congratulations, Tao. Well done. Congratulations. Great performance. Yeah. Contestant number two, going through from heat number four, is Angela Law. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. Well done, Angela. Great performance. Congratulations. And there you have it. Our final two through to the next round, the top eight from the final heat. Once again, a huge thanks to our judging panel. We had Mr. 04, Kanea, and of course, Graham Osborne. Huge thank you to our sponsors, Colgate, WR Carpenters with their number one T, Telecom, Goodman Fielders International, and of course, our production partners, PNG Air, our official airline carrier, and Keynote, our official venue host partner. So a huge congratulations to all the contestants from all the heats who have made it through to the top eight. So let's just go over who that is. We have Lorraine Maori, Rhonda Vinarang, Stephanie Joseph, Rawali Killa, Beth Shian from Tubbleville, Desiree Ure, and from tonight's show, Tao Rawali and Angela Law. Now, we're, the judges have also selected two wild cards to take the top eight to actually the top 10. And those two lucky contestants that have made it in on the wild card are Jelena De La Cruz and Daniel Toll. Join us next week Sunday as we get into the core of the competition as the top 10 battle it out to see who will be the grand final winner for Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020. You do not want to miss it. From all of us here at MTV, good night. We'll see you all next week. Take care. Hey, PNG. It's Jelena De La Cruz. I want to say thank you to the EMTV Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020. I'd also like to say thank you to the judges for choosing me as your wildcard. PNG, don't forget to vote for me. Thank you, Vocal Vision Virtual 2020. Thank you, judges, for voting me as a wildcard. PNG, please vote for me.
from slow, slow, I'm slow again. We've got more of the core of the competition coming. Sorry. <laughs> There's so much to say this last part. <laughs> MTV's Vocal Fusion Virtual 2020 was proudly brought to you by Colgate, WR Carpenters, PNG Air, Goodman Fulda International, Telecom PNG, Keynote, and Jacks of PNG.